Hey Pete, I just thought I'd go ahead and uh, give you a quick video to be a little bit more explicit regarding uh, the tooling and techniques I use. Uh, I mentioned I use the uh, Miller Matic 252. I've also used the 250X. I highly recommend the 252 over the 250X. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and set my uh, operating voltage for my gun. Um, this is a 220 welder. It's got set up with steel and aluminum. Uh, kit and I've got the uh, Spoolmatic 30A uh, one pound aluminum spool uh, gun and it normally has attached to it this straight nozzle with quick release tip and all that kind of jazz. Uh, very good tool. But uh, we also have this curve tip which you can see maybe if I get some better light on it. Uh, that just sits there floating in the center of the uh, nozzle and uh, today I'm going to be welding this 080 return uh, side to an eighth inch base and I've already gone ahead and got it broke to exactly the dimensions it needs to be it'll be a nice flush set up I'm actually making a uh, hotel directory sign that will sit essentially like that but First off, I'm going to go ahead and tack the corners, tack along the sides, and then run a stitch weld. And I'm hoping that my fancy dance tripod, monopod I guess, uh, flat foot, uh, will allow me to show you what I was talking about by going by sound rather than actually watching it. And exactly how it is I drag this nozzle, uh, even though I'm technically pushing with it, or using a push angle. So. Uh, check out for uh, part two.